Hello, this is Simple Math for you, and our lesson today will be about elimination using addition and subtraction. أهلا بكم في Simple Math for you. ودرسنا اليوم هو حذف حذف أحد المتغيرات باستخدام الجمع والطر. We are still in the chapter of system of equations. We are still solving systems of equation. In the previous lesson, we solved the system of equation by substitution, and the lesson before was solving by graphing. Now we are going to use elimination to learn about elimination. في الدروس السابقة تعلمنا كيف نقوم بحل المعادلة باستخدام طريقة التعويض وبرسم الخطوط أو برسم المعادلات الخطية. ثم أوجدنا الحل والآن سنقوم بحل المعادلة بطريقة الحذف. What is the meaning of elimination? Elimination means deleting, حذف, erasing, getting rid of. So for solving system of equation and elimination, we are going to follow the following steps. Write the system so like terms with opposite coefficients are aligned, means above each other. Then we are going to add the equations, eliminating one of the variable, then solve the equation. Step three, after we find one of the variables, then we will replace to find the other. So let's let's apply here what we learn here. For example, we have 2x plus 3y equals to 4. And we have another equation where 5x minus 3y equals to 6. It's very obvious here that when you add negative 3y plus 3y, you will eliminate the y. And this is our objective. إحنا لما شفنا aligning them يعني تحت بعض كان plus 3y minus 3y if you add them, إذا جمعناهم راح يلتغوا راح ينحذف ال y. It will be zero. So if you add now, you have 2x plus 5x is 7x. 4 plus 6 is 10. When you divide, you will have the value of x. Sorry, the value of x, which is dividing by 7, dividing by 7. So x is 10 over 7. Now, what will you do after that? You will use this x and replace it in one of the variables to find the missing y. This is adding by elimination, or elimination by adding, I mean. Here, we can also eliminate, but with subtraction. يعني ممكن كمان نحذف بطريقة الطرح. ليس بالضرورة الحذف بطريقة الجمع دائما. يعني, if you have 2x plus 3y, equals to 6, and the other one is 5x plus 3y equals to 10. Now, you cannot eliminate the y by adding. ما رح نقدر نحذفها إذا جمعنا. لأنه إذا جمعنا 3y plus 3y حيطلع 6y. So, we will subtract. If you subtract, يعني decision is based on the variable that you want to eliminate. أنت بتاخد القرار بناء على المتغير المراد حذفه. So, you new subtract here. It will be 2x minus 3x is minus 5x, which is negative 3x, equals to 6 minus 10 is negative 4. And when you divide, you will have the value of x. After that, you will also replace to find the missing value. And now we will practice to see how can we apply that easily. Use elimination to solve each system of equations. Even if you are not asked to eliminate here, it is very obvious that we can eliminate the variable V. This is negative V and this is positive V. They have different signs. They are opposites. Exactly, they are opposites. كل واحد نظير الثاني عكسه بالضبط نفسه بس عكسه. So if نفس القيمة بس بالعكس يعني 3 و negative 3, 2 و negative 2, 6 و negative 6. So you will add to eliminate the V. If you add, you get rid of the V. And you will add 1W plus 1W is 2W. 7 plus 1 is 8. And now you can divide to solve for W. Now 
How can we get the V now back? Use one of those equations to replace. I will choose the second one. If I'm using the second one, which is V plus W equals to one, simply I will replace the value of W by the value four that I have gotten before. So B is one minus four, which is negative three. So now the values are ready and the solution will be four, uh, sorry, the V comes before, so it's negative three, then the W, which is four, negative three and four. One may ask me, Miss, I will add, I will subtract now to eliminate the W. I will subtract to eliminate W instead of substituting. Yes, you can do that. Yeah, for example, we have here the original equations. If you decide to subtract, what will happen now? This will be eliminated. We prefer adding, but it, it's okay if you want to subtract. In this system, you can do both, not every time. You are lucky to have systems like this. Now we have here subtraction. Be careful when you subtract. Negative 1V minus 1. So it's negative 2V. We have 7 minus 1, which is 6. And when you divide, V is negative 3. This is V, and we have the same value here. We will not have any contradiction. Again, use any of the equation. If you use 1, for example, which is minus V plus W equals to 7, so minus will go down. V will be replaced by minus 3. Negative of negative 3 is positive 3. And if you solve, W is 7 minus 3, which is 4. And this is exactly the value that we have before. Let's have more practice. Now, in this example, it is very clear here that you can observe we have negative 4x. And here we have 4x, negative 4x and 4x. So what will you do? We will add because they are opposites to eliminate x. If you are able to eliminate one of the variables directly by addition or by subtraction, do it. It's better to, to, uh, to use elimination rather than substitution. 5y plus 6y is 11y. 17 plus negative 6 is 11. When you divide, it will be 1. And you will use this one in any of the equations. This is 1, this is 2. Deciding to use equation 2, 4x plus 6, I will replace the y by 1, and I will solve the equation as I have done before. 4x equals negative 6 minus 6, so 4x is negative 12, dividing both sides by 4, so x is negative 3. By the end, you have to write the solution in order pair. Question 3. Which one we can eliminate here? It's very clear that we have here negative 3y, exactly the same as the one aligned with it. The dot nafs ishara, so you will subtract to eliminate the y. Ashan nahdifilwat. Saran 2x minus the minus 5x means 2x plus 5x which is 7x. Be careful when you subtract. Then we have 9 minus 30, which is negative 21. And it's a simple equation that can be solved in one step. After you find the x, replace, substitute in any. I will use the first equation, removing or replacing the x by negative 3. 
multiplies multiplication become before addition or subtraction. Negative three y is nine plus six, or you can do it this way: plus six plus six both sides. It's okay. Negative three y is fifty, and when you divide by negative three, then y is negative five. So the solution is negative three and negative five. Okay, let's solve this question. This question cannot be solved directly. Uh, since you have brackets and the aquas, then our one, the first one is ready. The second one should be distributed first. So it will be 5x and then 5y equals to 5. Now, can we have here direct elimination? Yes, we can. We can add. Because we have here negative 5y plus 5y exactly. To eliminate them, add. 3x plus 5s is 8x. 11 plus 5, 16. Dividing both sides by 8, so x is 2. After that, use one of the equations. You have choices to use any one. I prefer to use the originals always, so I will use the first one. You can use even this one before distributing. It's okay. So you will use x equals to 2. It needs just practice. It's easy. So minus 5y is 11 minus 6. Minus 5y is 5. Dividing. So y is negative 1. Solution. Two and negative one. We have one solution. This system is, if you remember, consistent and independent. متوافق ومستقل له حل واحد فقط. Can we have infinite many solution? Can it appear by elimination? Let's take modify this example. For example, we have here something like this, and we have here we have here v plus w, or or something like this. Change a little bit. Equal seven. If you decide to add to eliminate, what will happen? V plus negative V is zero. W plus negative W is zero. So this side is zero. Now, seven plus seven is 14. Now we end up with equation with no variable. So since zero is not equal to 14, so we have no solution. While if you have here negative seven, let's say, if you have here same combination, and you add everything, you would end up with zero equals to zero, then you will have infinitely many solutions. Perfect. Moving to real life application, we will translate the statements or the verbal expressions and uh, we translate it into math then solve it twice a number added to another number so we have first number we will call it x the other number we will call it y so twice a number so twice x to x plus another number which is y is means equal negative eight the difference يعني, the difference between or of the two numbers, so the first number, the first number, the first number, the first number, and the second number is two. We have two equations. How can we solve? Simply, we can add. Why adding? Because here we have opposites. Adding. Remember, this is one, so it is 3x, and this will be cancelled. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6, dividing by 3x is negative 2. And replacing, I will use this to replace. We have x minus y is 2, replacing by minus 2. So minus y is 2, minus 2 goes there, it will be 4. Reversing the signs or dividing by negative one, we have now 
This is the first number. And this is the second number. Another real life application. At the end of recent regular season, the difference of the number of wins, number of wins, عدد المباريات التي فازوا بها, الفوز, and the number of losses التي خسروا فيها, was 12. So the total number of games is 12. If you assume that the number of wins is X, number of losses is Y. So here saying what? The difference of the number of wins and the number of losses was 12. So we have the difference. I mean, not the difference. I throw it here, but forget it. The difference. So X minus Y equals to 12. So the difference is 12. And another difference here, we have difference of the number of wins, which we call X, and two times the number of losses. So two times Y equals to one. So the difference is not saying the total number of wins and losses. He said the difference between them is that one. He is asking you about the total number of games. So we don't know the total number of games. Now what to do here? We have noticed here that we have here X and we have here X exactly the same. So we can eliminate by subtracting them. And we will apply the subtraction all over the equation. So minus one, minus, minus two. Minus one, minus, minus two. So it's minus one plus two, which is one. So it's one Y. 1y or y, we don't say 1y. We don't say I have one car, I have a one car, I have a car. Equals 12 minus 1, which is 11. After you have the number y, we can replace to find x. I will use equation 1. We have x minus y equals to 12. X minus number of Y, number of, uh, I mean, losses, yeah, 12, 11, I replace. So it will be X is 12 plus 11, which is 23. So in conclusion, we have number of wins, which, which we assume the X, so it's 23, number of losses, which is 11, because we assume that this is X, this is Y. So the total number of games will be what? Definite, it will be the total number of wins and losses. So we will add both and it will be 34 games. This is the real life application that we have chosen here for this problem, for this uh, lesson. I hope the lesson was easy. Remember, this is one of the methods to solve system of equation. You can use it or use substitution or graphing, but sometimes, as you see, it's easier to use elimination as we have here or as we have before, if especially it's ready for us to subtract or add. And then, this كانت المعاملات موجودة بطريقة واحدة إذا كانت متساوية يعني معامل الأكس في المعادلة الأولى هو نفس معامل الأكس في المعادلة الثانية أو الواي أيهما أسهل ليس شرطا أن تبدأ بالأكس أو الواي ابدأ بالأسهل it's not a must not mandatory to start with y or to start with x you have the choice depending on the equation Thank you very much. See you in the other, the next lesson, which is elimination using multiplication, because sometimes you will not have it as easy as this, as direct as that. نراكم في الدرس القادم حيث سأقوم بحل المعادلات بطريقة الحذف أيضا. شكرا جزيلا وإلى اللقاء.